it's Kayla from KJ and her books and welcome back to my channel. So today it is Sunday and I am doing another Sims Sunday video. I plan on doing these every month so the first Sunday of each month hopefully we will see how that goes but that is my initial plan. This will be my second Sims Sunday video in this series that I really want to keep going and today's video I was doing another creation of a library video. So the last video I did which I will link down below I created my dream library or my dream cozy home library thing. This one I'm going to be creating Belle's library so I'll insert a picture of that here somewhere. But basically I went and created a version of Belle's library with a modern type Belle and I'll talk you through it with what I did and you'll see how I did it. It's not amazing and it's not perfect because like I said I am no pro at The Sims. I am still learning how to build certain things but I had fun doing it and it was really enjoyable so I really liked making Belle's library. So let's just get into the video and see how I did. Hello everyone and here we are with another Sims Sunday video. So basically as I have said in the intro I'm going to be doing the Belle's library. I decided to obviously start by creating Belle. So just sort of doing like a modern take on what I think Belle could look like if it was modern. Um, so I've pretty much gone with like trying to give her an outfit that's like blue and white just to sort of be reminiscent of her outfit in the Disney movies and I've given her like a little braid that's sort of loose and free because I feel like that's something that a modern type Belle would probably go for maybe I was sort of having a look for a formal outfit as well just because why not we want to put the little classic golden dress in it as you'll probably recognize from my profile picture but I was trying to find something that could be a little modern but also very classy and pretty and also going along with the classic yellow. went with this one I decided I didn't want to go with gloves because I just wanted it to be nice and simple and I also gave her a second outfit as well because I kind of like this outfit and I thought it was cute and probably something that she would wear so and then of course had to add a last name so I ended up just putting princess in front of Belle because <laughs> why not and of course I decided to choose the same place that I always go to which is Windenburg just because I love it and it feels like the perfect kind of place to build libraries and book related things so and I was trying to get something as close as possible to the Bell's library obviously like time constraints and like my lack of skill with building in the sims because I'm not amazing but um, I'm still learning so I'm still working out different tips and, and tricks. I actually had help from one of my friends the other night who showed me how to do like the multi-level with ladders and stairs and everything so I didn't actually know if you could do them. I thought it was like an extra pack so that's sort of what I was working with. Um, but yeah, and obviously we don't have spiral staircases, so like the, the picture of Belle's library has spiral staircases, which we obviously do not have in The Sims 4. We should, but we don't. And there we go with making sort of the multi-level layers because it, it gives it some character. It looks kind of nice too, so we can add letters and everything. Because what's a beautiful library? What is Belle's library actually without letters? 
I did have move objects on as well, which can sometimes be kind of glitchy too, so. So as you can see, I was trying to make it similar. Not exactly the same, but a similar sort of style. Just sort of my take on it, really, for The Sims. And it was fun. And I actually really like building the multi-levels. And as you can see, I did originally start off with the staircases, but I do get rid of them later because I didn't want to make a second story because I just wanted you to be able to see the whole uh, area with all the books. I didn't want to have to have like two areas or like an, a second story area for the books. So. But they're there for now until I decided to get rid of them. <laughs> and of course, got to add a fireplace in there. Because what is a library without a fireplace? And the wallpaper just had to be blue. Just for Belle. Had to be blue. Besides, I'm pretty sure the the actual Disney movie, the wallpaper is blue. I think. Or at least it's like some sort of shade of blue or purple or something like that. I can't quite remember. <laughs> but, you know, we were going with blue, so. And trying to find some decent curtains as well to fit the windows. Which, I actually like the curtains that I picked. It's a nice blue, those ones, so. I like them. And now to start putting some colour, we wanted to have the floorboards because obviously in the picture there are floorboards. And I wanted to add like a little fence as well around the outside of each level just because, you know, safety reasons. <laughs> we don't want our sims falling off, but also it kind of looks nice as well. And the, the move objects cheat actually really helped with putting these bookshelves on there. It made them fit perfectly. Um, so I really liked doing that. And I feel like these bookshelves really fit. They, they actually make it all stand out. And uh, as you can see where I've just put that bookshelf, I was intending to have something in that corner there, but uh, I may have forgotten about it. So it just ended up being an empty corner. But, um, oops, we'll just pretend that uh, I put something there. <laughs> you only see it for a split second anyway, so hence why I forgot about it. And now for the lights. These lights I think are absolutely gorgeous. Not exactly candlesticks, but you know, like modern chandelier type lights. So I really hated trying to find the rugs because I nothing seemed to work except for these ones. And these ones I still wasn't happy with, but we went with them anyway because they were sort of the closest that I could get for them. The closest that I could get for the room. And I felt like it still worked, but I'm not 100% happy with it. But I did like doing the, the bookshelves, that was fun. My hand hurt after a while, but uh, <laughs> it was fun. And I really liked the addition of the ladders as well to get onto the multi-level rather than using stairs. I thought that was awesome. You know, let's just put a bookshelf in the wall. Thank you, move objects cheat. <laughs> and to start putting some lounges in. So I noticed these ones were kind of similar to what Belle has in that library. So I've gone with that, nice little coffee table. And 
find some more chairs up in the other level. It took me a bit to work out what kind of chair to put in there and then I ended up just deciding to put the exact same chair. More plants and, and see that's where I missed the corner where I was going to put a plant and just completely forgot about it. So I put another two chairs up there. And I did have to put some near the fireplace as well. So chairs all over the place. I kind of wish now looking at it that I put something on the fireplace as well, like some books. But I think we did all right. And I liked adding the portraits as well. thought that was a nice little touch and then we decided to bring Belle in there to look at her library and obviously I put her in her beautiful yellow dress so she can have a look at the books and be super happy that she's surrounded by some amazing books <laughs> but yeah it's not amazing but um We'll, we'll get there, maybe we'll do another updated one later, but it was my first try and I'm kind of happy with it, so it's I'm not like 100% with it, I feel like I could have done some changes and I could have done a little bit more to it to, to be more creative with it, but I'm kind of happy with it, so we'll just let Belle go and read something for a bit, climb up the ladder in her gorgeous dress and she can chill and read in her perfect little library. But yeah, I like it. And like I said, we'll probably go back to it again, maybe, to try and change it. But I'm happy. Well, there you go, guys. That is Belle's library. So like I said, it's not exactly like the Disney one. It's not amazing. It's not perfect. But I will maybe try and work on them again later down the track when I have like more experience with building things and I've learned different techniques and different things and I have a lot more time to spend on building these but like I said this is just for fun I enjoyed it the sims is to be enjoyed not to be critiqued so I had fun I hope you enjoyed it too but thanks for watching thanks for joining me on this Sunday and I will see you in the next video